Hello, my name is Jesse, and today I'm going to talk about CORAL, an open source ERM or an electronic resource management tool for your library. CORAL has five modules that help you maintain vendor relationships, keep track of your subscriptions, view licensing information, compare reports, and then manage any policies or procedures your library has in place for your ERM. Let's start by taking a look at the Organizations module. The Organizations module allows you to keep track of any vendor, consortium, or platform that you have a relationship with for any of those vendors. You have the ability to search for existing organizations in your system and then, of course, modifying or maintaining any of that information. So if we click on EBSCO Publishing, for example, you'll see that we have our connected child organizations, the role that they play, and then any of that account information. You can keep track of their aliases, any contacts, whether it's a sales rep, a customer service rep, or support, even training. The Accounts tab will allow you to keep track of any of your support portal login information or any external source. So whether it is an admin or FTP download for any type of records, this gives you the opportunity to keep track of that information. There's an issues tab which allows you to track any type of errors or downtime that you may have with that vendor. Finally, you'll see a tab to licenses which would connect you out to the licensing module for this particular organization. On the right hand side, you will always see the links to the provider in your resource module, so you can easily click on the subscription for them. When creating a new organization, you'll be presented with a form that allows you to begin setting up all of the details about that new organization. Administration is where you will keep track of all of the resources for the organization module, so you can customize each one of those aspects. With all of CORAL, each user is given access to individual modules in the system, so you can set those users up per module. Let's take a look at the resource module next. The resources module is where you're going to keep track of any subscription that you have in your system. Those resources will give you a general overview of all of the product information, so any details on that ISSN, its connected organization, a description, the resource URL, if it's connected to a larger parent record. So think about packages where CINAHL might be the complete package, but you can also keep track of all of those individual resources within that larger packet. So you'll notice over here under helpful links, I can see that parent record and click on it. I can see the organization and then I can focus in on that particular resource. Within the resource record, you can also view order information and that's going to give me my subscription periods. I can view cost history, so everything from the fund that it's attributed to, to payment and invoice details. My access tab would show me the coverage and then any additional information to access this resource. You can keep track of cataloging information. It will inherit any contacts from the organization itself, or you can add direct contact information here for that particular resource. Account information will also be inherited from the organization in the system, or you can update any unique account information for this particular resource. As we saw with organizations, you can also track any type of downtime or issue that you experience for this resource. Again, really good for negotiating your contract down the road. You can say, you know, over the period of the last three years, we've experienced 18 downtimes, and then you have access to an Excel spreadsheet of the exact date and timestamp of when those items were unavailable. You have opportunities to upload any attachments, like a list of users or emails back and forth when you were negotiating that contract. One of the strongest features of the resource module is the ability to 
view workflows. This is where you'll be able to essentially come in and start um, a workflow for a particular feature and then this will walk you through the start of a product all the way through the completion. So think about the starting after you sign a contract, funding approval, licensing, ordering, processing, and then of course activating. And you can customize any workflow that works for your library. You know, so setting up easy proxy, getting it out on your discovery. Any user that is part of a workflow will see that in their queue. So they'll be able to see any outstanding tasks that are assigned to them. You can import a file of resources into your resource module, connect it to EBSCO's knowledge base, and then view dashboards to give you a, a quick overview of statistics and yearly costs for your resources. In administration, of course, you can customize any of those roles or types making your resource module truly unique to your library. Next, we'll take a look at the licensing module. The licensing module is where you're going to upload any of those licenses for your subscriptions. You can view that document and then, of course, also view any type of expressions. Does it allow interlibrary loans? Do you have access after cancellation to this product? You can also upload any additional attachments, any addendums or amendments to this particular license. In here, you'll be able to keep track of any licenses that are in progress and even compare expressions. So again, another great example, do these products allow interlibrary loan? And then you can even do qualifiers. The calendar will show you any upcoming license renewals, and then you can also upload any Onyx PL imports, and this would come directly from the GoKB knowledge base. As always with administration, you can customize any type of information within the module itself. The next module we'll cover is the usage statistics module. The usage statistics module allows you to import any counter four or five reports directly into your system. Once you import those in, you'll have report options that you can customize and then you can use the usage reports module to look at a comparison of providers, titles, or yearly usage statistics. You can even customize that information again in administration. Um, so you can email logs and then, of course, add any of those users into the system. The last module we'll take a look at is the management module. The management module is a module that you can upload any policies or procedures or checklists that you have in place for your library. And this is just a great place where you can kind of keep track of that information in the system and a place for your employees to refer back to that information. If you have questions about Coral, please contact Bywater Solutions.